Hello and welcome to yet another Outward Lay Experience. Today I'll be showcasing an application, a bot application that I made for Discord with the help of Discord.net. Yes, it's a C sharp language program. So let's get straight into it. Uh, here's the application that I made, the executable file. Once I run it, it should show in the Discord that it's connected. Here we go. Connecting, connected, and over here it's written that it's connected to the SARP SAMP development, which is the name of the server, or the Discord server. And then, when I click on the channel, here it is. It shows the, the bot status, it's connected, and I'll show the rest of the things that the bot does. The first thing that the bot, uh, let me just use the commands. If you want to know all the commands, you, you just use exclamation mark help and you get all of the commands so first is user info what this does is basically it it's just a dummy command just so that I know that it's working properly so let me just try it user info if I don't give anything then it's just gonna repeat its name and by it I mean the bot see now I'll try using it on myself so user info and then Skylar, wrong spelling. And then it prints my name with my discriminator. Next we have help, which I just showed it to you. If you use help, it gives this embedded message, which has all of the commands present. Then we have server. So what this does is, if I do server, and I don't give any parameters, it's going to give all the information about the SARP server so let me hit that and there we go it gives us the information about the host name the game mod version the number of players and the average players well it's pretty petty right now but well my hopes are high if I try to do like I want to know the information about another server this is the beta testing server that we have for SARP if I copy the IP and I do server the IP and then space I'll copy the port which is 8282 and then hit enter so the information about the beta server is now shown to us via the bot which is well, this almost the exact same just the player slot is 10 and the average player well that's well, very low. Anyway, now that that is done, the last one is purge. The command purge. What purge does is very simple. It deletes the messages that's present in the channel where it's used. So let me try purge and I'll do four. So it deleted four of my messages and then shows the display and then this will be deleted as well. There we go. Let me remove all of the messages. Purge, I don't know, 25. All of them are gone. This prompt will be gone as well in 3, 2, 1, boom. There we go. And lastly, what this does is, it, if I put up a suggestion, any suggestion, it gives a prompt, a reaction prompt, a tick and a cross. So, this is a suggestion. It doesn't matter whatever format you keep it. If there is a message in that channel, it's gonna throw this react so that anyone in the server could take the poll, they could agree to the suggestion or disagree. And let me just remove this, purge to, and there we go. It's gone. So this is what I made in my free time because I was like, why not? And yeah hope you guys enjoyed it like if you did if you have any questions regarding the api that i used then hit me up in the comment or if you have my discord and peace